The version 20 release of Risa 3D now includes the ability to customize the view toolbar in a variety of different ways, giving users more control over the interface and quicker access to features that they use most often. So first, the view toolbars are located right here above or kind of attached to the th main 3D view in your software. Now within the view toolbar, we have what we call bins. Bins are simply a container that includes predefined functions or buttons or features. And so currently there are six preset bins, which include rotation, snap views, loading and results, 2D mode, selection tools, and then the quick commands. So to look at all of these, we can go ahead and click in the top left-hand corner here, there's a little um, wrench icon, and that opens up the bin library. And so here we can see those six options that I just talked about. Now the difference in coloration here is key. First is that the rotation, snap view, and load results view bins, those are uneditable. And so we can't change the buttons that are there. Those are predefined and set within the program. Now the 2D lock bin, the selection bin, and the quick commands bin, those are listed or shown in blue. Those can actually be um, added. They can be deleted if you'd like them to. Uh, you can edit the bin by adding buttons. And we'll go ahead and look at some of that. So the first thing we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and add a, a new bin of our own. So I'm gonna click on add bin. And the first thing I'm gonna do is set a, or create a label. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this modeling. Because I'm gonna create a bin that has some of the modeling tools uh, available so that I can have those available to me in that 3D view at all times. Now you can see here in the available bin buttons, these are all the features, functions, buttons, tools, uh, what have you that are available to the end user to be added to a given bin. So we have model options, drawing options, loading options, view options, selection options. There's some advanced, like you can add load generators or different spreadsheet information, different drawing information. In this particular case, because I'm gonna create a modeling bin, I'm gonna go here under model. Actually, let's go ahead under draw, and I'm gonna go ahead and select members, and I can click add. I can also double click, so I can double click on plates and add that. I'm gonna double click on wall panels and boundary conditions. And I'm gonna go ahead and also put in uh, project grid. And then the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in, uh, let's see, I'm gonna add in one for drawing tools to turn on my display grid. So now with those set here, I can go ahead and click OK. Now the bin itself will present itself right in the middle here, and then I can go ahead and dock it. So I'm just gonna grab and click and hold the mouse button, and then just drag it up here to dock it. And so now I have it here. I can rearrange this at any time, so I could move it down here. I could move it on the side if I wanted to. Again, I could put it, go ahead and put it back on the top here. So I could put that bin or dock that bin wherever I desire. The next thing I can do is I can also edit bins, right? So either edit a bin that I already created or I can edit one of the existing bins. And the way to do that is obviously you can go ahead and click on the wrench icon again here and select one of the bins and click edit. Or I can go ahead and find this little kind of uh, button that's at the bottom of every uh, toolbar or every bin. So I'm gonna go ahead here and click on the ellipsis and I'm brought into the edit custom bin dialog. And so here I can go ahead and select to remove certain items for the bin, or in this case, I wanna go ahead and add something to the bin. So I'm gonna expand this quick buttons and I actually wanna add my quick find command or tool to this selection bin. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just click add and then it gets added there, click okay. And now we have that quick find tool that's available within that bin as well. Now the last new kind of feature within these bins is that obviously I've made some changes to the default bin that was here. If I go into file, and application settings, and then click on advanced. We can see here that we have an interface layout template option. Right now it's set to custom. We also have options for default and classic. So that custom bin is basically the last saved uh, layout or 3D view bin layout that we have. Now I can go ahead and click the ellipsis again, and I could go ahead and uh, save this current layout and then rename it. So I could call it Ben's bin or modeling bin or, or whatever the, the layout description that I wanna give it and I can save that and save multiples. Now the other thing I can do, and this is for um, users that maybe want a more classic uh, view of the, the way the interface looks, so 
things that uh, make the interface look like it was v17 and prior, we actually have created a classic view. So if I click classic and click OK, and then I go ahead and minimize the ribbon toolbar, we can see that now the buttons that were previously available in the v17 and prior versions of uh, Risa 3D are now available as buttons kind of in that view. And so people that are more familiar or more comfortable with that because they had used that prior to our change of interface uh, can have that classic look. And obviously they can edit this, move these bins around. So really this gives the user the ability to customize the interface as they see fit so that the individual needs of that engineer and how they like to use the software is met. For more information about the new features in Risa 3D version 20, please visit risa.com.